guys! Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my holiday haul from the holiday collection and a few extra bonus items of 2023. So a lot of the wonderful goodies that showed up in this brochure and on the website are here on my table to share with you. And I am so excited. So a merry early Christmas to all of you. And I broke out a brand new mug. Is this not the cutest that I actually found at Kohl's in celebration of a fantastic and wonderful haul to share with all of you. So let's just dive right on in. And at the end of this video, we will do first sniffs on the scents of the season, which I have my two consultant perk early access kits of, but we will do that last. I've got warmers, I've got cleaning supplies, I have a brick, I've got all sorts of great stuff that is here to enjoy with all of you. So let's just start out with some of the more mundane things. I wanted some car bars. And if you do not know where the car bars are on the website, you look under the things that are non-wax and then one of those will be a whole bunch of different car bars that are available. You can bundle and save them and then you can also do singles, you can do a couple. I chose to get three, so I have the Autumn Hearth here and I have a Snowberry, which is very good for Christmas time and very snowy spruce because I'd done a six pack in my harvest haul and my husband already snitched the Autumn Hearth out of that. So the next thing that I have to share with you is one of the bricks that is in catalog. We do have three more seasonally appropriate bricks that are also catalog staple classic bars that you can get that are separate from our holiday bricks which launch on the 16th. So pumpkin roll is one of those classics and I have been waiting and waiting to get this. I'm so excited. This is a fantastic holiday, especially Thanksgiving appropriate scent for me. And this is a good pour of pumpkin roll. Sometimes I don't like the way that the bars are because there's not enough oil in them, not enough strength. This is pitch perfect. Mm, this is so good. So this is like a yellow cake or a cupcake that's going to have pecans and a nice sort of cream cheese roulade center, just like it shows in the cute picture here. This is fantastic. And if this performs as well as I think, I might pick up another brick for next year because I got this with Hostess Rewards half off. So this is 12 bucks for all of this goodness, you guys. That is fantastic. So then the next thing that was in my haul was a half off tub of washer whiffs and I did them in the new white amber antique, which I am really liking. Then I got the one cleaning item that was available besides laundry, which I didn't get in this particular haul in our new holiday line. And that's going to be Snow Kissed Cranberry in the counter clean. And I love Snow Kissed Cranberry. It was at one time a holiday November scent of the month. It's on the lighter side with a nice sort of snowy woodsy cranberry and very happy. I think this will be good in the kitchen. So then a lot of the rest of what I have here is specific to the holiday haul. I got some fragrance flowers, not knowing if they would sell out as fast as the ones for the harvest, which I don't think that they did. Sleigh Ride. And now they package the top and the bottom separate. I got two of that because I'm loving my fall into love harvest sunflower, which is almost used up. And then I got one of vanilla barnwood. So I'm going to open one of the tops. All of the ones that came in the holiday collection have this beautiful scarlety poinsettia as their topper. So I'll just open one and we'll see what it's like. And then it's kind of difficult to open the oils on camera, so I'm not going to put them together. But the, oh, this is cute. So this little guy is gonna go into your oil base. Ooh, he would be very good right there, actually. Let's see if we can do this for the rest of the video. If it falls out, I'm sorry, but that, ah, really, I like that. <clears throat> Maybe since he needs to start making hair accessories too. Anyway, so you will put this little guy with his uh, stem into the oil base and then it will soak up the oil and perfume your house. I think it's supposed to be guaranteed for 60 days, but my uh, harvest sunflower is going really fast. I don't know if it'll actually last that long because it has so much surface area on the sunflower. This is more normal and I think it'll be fine. So next we have a whole pile of bars and oh gosh, what do we do, the bars? Or I think we'll do the bars before the warmers. I've got two minis and I have two full-size warmers here to share with you. So let's just start with my rather large pile of half-off bars here. 
Cherry's Jubilee is in the holiday collection. You can either do the five bars with the really cute little bag, which you've already seen me review separately, or you can bundle and save. So in this, I got, I think, three bundles for bundle and save, which made it much better. So Cherry's Jubilee is this wonderful, Christmassy, just gorgeous cherry scent, you guys. Cherry and raspberry and a little bit of zesty lemon. You could mix this with something like sugar cookie and get a bakery scent, or you just get this amazing, hard-hitting, fabulous cherry. And then the next one that I have, I have two of farm stand pumpkin because this is the middle of October when I'm hauling this and I still want to enjoy more pumpkin up till Thanksgiving. So farm stand pumpkin is a perfect September and October scent with Cinnamon stick and beautiful gentle pumpkin. It is so nice. It's almost outdoorsy and fresh and it's gorgeous. So that is a good one. And I said I have two of those. I got two of vanilla barn wood, which is also in our amazing holiday five bar bundle. They're so good this year, you guys. So good. So vanilla barn wood is a great scent for the bedroom or a smaller space. It's amber and it's got this vanilla a little bit of wood, and it almost smells like there's a tiny bit of lemony brightness. That goes away for me more as you warm, and you're just left with this gorgeous sultry vanilla amber mix. Great bar. So I got two of those. I got another one. Actually, I think I got two of everybody that was in the holiday, <laughs> holiday collection. So I got two of cranberry candy cane. I think that's what I did. I think I just went through and got two of almost everybody. And this is one people are loving or they're really not liking it. And I'm kind of in the middle. I like a certain amount of peppermint, but it needs to have something with it. So for me, this was very nice. And I think my mother may like this. So I got an extra. So we've got the cranberry and you've got the candy cane and some pomegranate. And to me, it grounds that peppermint scent that otherwise I don't care for. So I really liked this and I wanted more. I'm not going to club that one though. So some of these, like the vanilla barn wood, that's definitely going in my club. Another one, which has kind of been an elusive bar from our harvest collection, is Forever Fall. I'm actually melting that in the house today and it is amazing. This is the most glorious dark brown sugar and baking spice pumpkin in a bowl. It's almost like you haven't even cooked the mess of pumpkin with all the spices yet and all that sugar. I love it and it is just so nice. So I wanted more of that for this month. Then I got one of Golden Garland, which I think is going to be fantastic for November. This is great with Autumn Road Trip. This will be great with Scarlet Sunflower. I think this will be very good with some of my more pushing into winter like a Rustic Lodge type scents that I do in November. This has marigold petals. I think it's got some musk. It has some pine needles. It's great. It's funky and woodsy and gorgeous. Another one of my farm stand pumpkin. And I got two of wonderful sleigh ride, which I'm melting behind me. Of course, I got out the Christmas stuff to be able to do this specific haul with you guys. It'll all go back downstairs, I promise. But, oh, and that is a retired warmer behind me. That was a mosaic warmer that I think that they offered two different Christmas seasons. That is such a good performer. I do not remember its name, but if you guys ever see that one in a garage sale or in a flash sale, please pick it up. It is fantastic. And I went to my favorite store to get, um, you know, my Christmas goodies to be, and this even has stripes. You guys can't see that with the whole thing. I sort of feel like an elf in this particular one to be able to film this because these will sell out. Maurice's does these every year with all of the cute stuff on it and they will just be gone. So I grabbed it and then I had it to be able to do this video. And then I've got another, which is called Rum Pum Plum. And you guys know all of these from my past reviews, but these are so good so nice so this is a beautiful jammy plummy bakery scent and that is all of my bars plus my bricks so i am pretty much set and then i just ordered more of the actual tree shaped holiday bricks personally because until the 15th we as consultants can order extra sets and those are good for business if you know what i mean so we're going to move on to all the warmers let's start with a beautiful mini called the Frosted Gems. Now, all of our minis are gonna be $25. And this, I am very excited about because I like the metallics and the whites for most of my warmers, especially at Christmas, because they're versatile. I really like natural and traditional decor more than cutesy or peppermint stripes. I mean, on my sweater's fine, but, and things like that in the house. So this one definitely caught my eye and I thought that it would be beautiful. So this Frosted Gems is a glass mini. And you could put this on a tabletop base for today. I'm just gonna plug them into my power strip, but this is 
beautiful. Let's turn that off. Look at the beautiful sparkle. So of course being called frosted gems, you knew that it would be beautifully sparkly and it's just got a lustrous frosted glass. So I'm just going to put it into the usual here. So you can get a base that is separate that's either for glass or ceramic. You gotta read which one you're gonna order. And then that gives you a tabletop option, which I have shown you on the channel before. And that does come completely separate from ordering your mini, which always comes with a wall mounted plugin. So hopefully I will not break the bulb here. Now that they tape these, they are very difficult to get into on camera. There we go, okay. And then there is a little ring that you're going to put in here. It's a little plastic ring to soften and help with the seal when you're putting this on. Then we're gonna put this guy in. And the glass ones are always like this. So for now, we'll do that. I'll grab my power strip. Oh, beautiful, I gotta turn this off again. So we just have a very nice, yeah, this is gonna be kind of hard to see because it's glass. Just a really pretty soft glow. It's hard to tell on camera exactly what this is like, but it is beautiful. And it is a yellow glow, just nice and frosty. I think this is gorgeous. For my house, it's gonna go perfectly. So then the other one is called the Glittering Gems, and I'm even more excited about that mini because the frosted one was nice. Oh, Glittering Greetings, I'm sorry. But this Glittering Greetings, this one is a ceramic warmer, so it's going to be ivory, and I think it has gold writing and little snowflakes punched out of it, which is why I grabbed that particular coffee cup, because I'm like, this is totally gonna go with that. So let's see what we got in here. Yes, this has snowflakes punched all around the porcelain, you guys. Oh my goodness, I have to turn that off. <gasps> This is so cool. Now, I wish they'd made a full size like this. I would have bought it. I did not buy the large snowflake flurry type full size because it sloped even more dramatically than that. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like the curve. Now, of course, down the road, I'll probably see it in somebody else's haul and get it anyway. But I wasn't so sure in the beginning if that was what I wanted. Now, they were sensible and did not tape this one. So this is the way that a ceramic mini base is going to look a little bit different. You don't have to screw it in with threads. Then we're going to put the toggles on. Oh, I'm so excited about this one, you guys. This is beautiful. I will turn this off. You're not gonna be able to appreciate that with the light on. <laughs> I really, really wanted this one. And here we go. Oh, look at that. And it's gonna throw little snowflakes. Oh, all over the room. This is super stinking cool. I love this. This might be my favorite thing in the whole haul. So this is called the Marion Bright Mini and it has pierced bisque snowflakes all over it. It is gorgeous. Oh, I love that, I love that. Okay, next I got kind of out of character for me and I definitely need to sip a coffee. I got a character type retro reindeer full-size warmer that is an element warmer. I don't even know where I'm going to put it, but it was way too cute to pass up. So let's do our retro reindeer. I believe this guy is 40. Where is my brochure when I need it? Yes, Mr. Retro Reindeer is 40, and then the other one that I'm going to show you, which is the one on the cover, which is the last thing that I've got here, is going to be $60, and that's called the Snowed Inn, which is a really nice play on words because it's like a little house, you know, like an inn. <gasps> oh, okay, good. I was afraid one of his antlers was broken. Oh, he's so cute, you guys. He's going to match my sweater. This is the Retro Re Oh, you guys, the Retro Reindeer little... Element Warmer, I almost called him a mini. Is he not cute? Look, we're twins, we're two in grade, we're twinning. This is darling. So you're just gonna put the wax in here and then you can either take it out with a cotton ball or if you're careful, you can take it out with a not very sharp butter knife when it's cold. Probably with this one, you might wanna do the cotton ball thing and you can do our cotton cleanups, which are very nice. Oh, look at him. So when you Put him on the power strip. I'll do it even though there's not much to see. You're just going to get the glow, very soft glow, 
of this showing you that it's on and that is the only light that you're going to have that you can see that there see oh he is so so cute look at my reindeer so other than making sure that nobody breaks his antlers off because i've seen this wounded at, at the, the shows and things because these stick out so much oh the detail on him look at this back here we have like little ridges for a hair oh you guys I love him. He's just adorable. Okay, okay. I didn't think I was going to be that happy. This is Mr. Retro Reindeer, and I'm so glad that I bought him. And I'm just going to put him right there. He is too cute. So the crowning glory, other than the fact that we still have Sense of the Season to sniff, is going to be the Snowed In Warmer. Now, I love Christmas Villages. My father and I made one from some old Martha Stewart patterns. It took ages and ages and then every year we would add more pieces to it oh, guys are gonna love this. so i had to have this little village warmer i just had to have the village warmer it's going to be made out of metal oh and it's even glittered just like my houses oh, here here's the back so it will throw well here's the front look at look at the little windows in the snow this is just like what i would paint i hand paint stuff like this for years and now we have enough that we have a section for my younger daughter and a section for my older daughter. They both have their names in them. There are little street signs. I mean, Dad and I went all out and they're all hand like lettered and numbered. So, Sensi's not gonna top what I have for sentiments, but it certainly is going to go with it very, very well. So here is the rest of the snowed in warmer. Oh, you guys, it's adorable. Look at the little snowman and the street lamp and our cute little trees. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so stop uh, being all crazy, Elizabeth. It has, I believe, a 25 watt bulb. Oh, this is worth every penny. This and that retro reindeer. Loving these. And I like the minis too. Actually, for Christmas, although last year, the two tin trees that we had were spectacular. Oh, loved them. But these for sentimentality and just being totally like nostalgic these are amazing so here is the dish it's shaped a little bit differently than normal and here is the lid I'm just going to kind of weasel in here so here is the snowed in guys i wish i could play christmas music but you can't do on one of these you have to like buy special music oh it's a beautiful beautiful piece let's turn this off and not have a crooked hat the details on this warmer you all have got to fall in love with this as much as i am this is absolutely precious even my mother-in-law would probably love this oh my gosh okay so this is everything that's in the hall and I'm very excited. I don't know if I can put this up here without breaking something. So I think we'll just put him over here. And last but not least, I have for all of you, the first sniffs of our sense of the season for 2023. Now let's see if I can boot up my computer. And of course, I've been talking for so long that it went to sleep. I need to pull up again all of the scent notes. These, there are three in here that I am familiar with and two that are absolutely brand new. For many people, they may not be familiar with quite a few of these. We're going to start with the one that I know and most people would know because this has recently been in Bring Back My Bar. Now, I don't personally care for Peppermint Rush, so we're gonna have Peppermint Rush, Homestead Holiday, Caramel Praline Cake, Homestead Holiday, which is a favorite of mine, and a new one called Frosted Winter Pine. So we will start with Peppermint Rush. Sensi says that this is peppermint, vanilla, and freshly fallen snow. And it is all of that. I just get almost, this is a better bar than the last one. It's a little smoother. Almost like a gum or health food store note in this. It is extremely exhilarating. I would have loved to have seen Peppermint Wishes come back. That was a brick a while ago and I like that better. But this is your Peppermint Rush. If you love exhilarating a very strong peppermint with an iciness, this is your bar. It throws like a beast. The next one is going to be Sugar Plum Berry. Now, I haven't smelled this in a bit. At one time it was a brick and I definitely had some of it. 
but it reminds me the most from my memory of Blue Christmas that we had last year. So Sensi says that our sugar plum berry is spiced citrus peel, evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon sticks. The packaging on these is darling. They really, really paid attention to detail. They have the cute little harlequin pattern and these gorgeous, let's make sure this is the right side up, gorgeous little kind of teasers about what you're going to find inside of the box. So that is perfect for gifting. Anyway, the sugar plum berry, let's see what I remember. Oh yeah, so take Blue Christmas, put more sugar plum and cinnamon in it, take out some of the tree, and that's what you get. So if you loved Blue Christmas, you will love this. Now this one I remember being quite strong. It definitely has that sort of powdery candied fruit note to go with all of those holiday flavors. So the citrus peel, the evergreen berries, the sugar plums, and the cinnamon sticks. Yes, yes, and yes, it's all here and it's very nice. Now the next one is a personal nostalgic favorite of mine. That is going to be our Homestead Holiday. This was in my club. I only pulled it for this round and it will be going right back in. Oh, you guys, this is Christmas in a bar. This is one of the best Christmas scents Scentsy's ever made. Now, of course, Cozy Fireside is my favorite. Another one that is very nostalgic is Be Merry and that one is discontinued right now, but who knows. With the way that they're doing this kind of thing, I would be thinking maybe we'll see that back in the sense of the season in a couple of years. But Homestead Holiday was a heartbreak two seasons ago. This has blood orange, cinnamon, and fur needle. It is like being by grandma's country stove in a country kitchen. You're making pomanders, there's gingerbread baking, you just brought in a fresh tree. It's amazing. I love this scent. You have to try this one, please, if you never have. You are missing out if you pass this by. It is so good. All right, and then we have the two new ones. So, Frosted Winter Pine, and I love pine. I'm very excited about this. We don't have just a straight, classic pine scent. I live in Michigan. Our state tree is the white pine. Growing up, my parents would fight, not really fight, but sort of debate about whose turn it was to get a real tree. My mother always picked the butterball scotch pines, which are very round, and my father would always pick the elegant weepy, but very hard to decorate white pines, which were prettier, but everything would slide off the branches and it was very hard to light. So frosted white pine, if this smells like my childhood and my father's trees, will probably make me tear up. Let's see what we have. Pine needle, crisp greens, and winter air. Does it smell like I went to the tree farm as a little girl? Let's we'll see. Okay, it doesn't smell like the tree farm, but it's good. Mmm, yes, this is nice. You know what they've been doing this season? Is giving us evergreen scents that don't have too much bite. I have sleigh ride in right now, and that is more mellow, but this is really good. I'm going to break this. Does it smell exactly like white pine? I mean, I really know what white pine smells like. This is a little bit more, I don't want to use the word generic in the wrong way, but more of a wax version. It doesn't have quite that crispness, but this is very good. I'm going to enjoy this in the house because there's a lightness here that I was not expecting. I was expecting something that was more like cleaning. This is not, this is very good. So it's supposed to have crisp greens and winter air. I get those lightens up the pine needles. This is good. So if you are afraid of really hard hitting evergreen scents, I don't think you need to be afraid of this. Now, I don't know what will happen when it warms up, but it is not like iced pine, which was cleaner pine. And I still have some of that and I love it. This is more mellow than that, but it still gives you that very good, truly piney scent with the freshness. And I get that little bit of undertone of greens. It's good, so I can't wait to warm that. It is soft, it's a soft pine scent and I love it. Not as much as one that we had a few seasons ago though, which of course, oh, it's called Feelin' Pine. Feelin' Pine was even softer. I think I like this winter pine better. So this one is specifically called Frosted Winter Pine. And I would agree, and I think that might warm really well with something like Frosted Vanilla or maybe even Silver bells, honestly. Okay, and then last, I'm hoping this is the crowning glory of the scents of the season, the caramel praline cake, because boy, do we need good bakery back in our life. I'm gonna turn this off so you can really see it. This is beautiful. All right, this is what Scentsy says. Sweet praline, a splash of buttery vanilla covered in caramel drizzle. Oh yes, for all of you that have missed Oh gosh, Stroopwafel Delight, Almond Croissant, Butter Pecan. You put them all in one bar and here is the most glorious caramel praline cake. 
You guys better put this thing in a club. If you don't have a club, you better start a club. If you have been crying a river about missing your bakery, this is a bakery bar. Oh, it's so good. Oh, you guys. Mmm. This is the bar we've been waiting for. Oh, yes. This is going in the warmers immediately. This is going with all the things. This is going to go, oh my gosh, this is like another caramel chestnut moment, but this is more versatile. Put this in your club. Get a stack of 150. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So we'll see what performance is like. This is the standout bakery bar of the season. It has everything good smushed into it. So this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy holiday season. God bless. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.